the Greek crisis has shone a light on a nation struggling with its own self-image. Germany is a country questioning its role in the world, trying to reconcile its history with its present. Outside the Bundestag this morning, a small group of anti-austerity protesters scuffled with police as they held up placards bearing the Greek word Ochi, no. Well, they're clearly passionate, but there aren't that many of them. It's quite a small gathering, really, in the context of anti-austerity protests. But these people feel a special responsibility because of where they're from and because of where we are. Germany, pay your Nazi debt, they chant. Much of Germany's wartime debt was written off, they argue, by various countries, including Greece. Now, they say, it's time to reciprocate. I'm really, really f***ing angry because, um, I don't know, I grew up in this reunited uh, Germany and I grew up with all these ideas of uh, European Union, of a democratic space, of a solidarity space. Do, do you think it's right to bring up the issue of Nazi history again here? I mean, it's 70 years ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago, but we think... Um, it is Germany, it's the German government who makes so much pressure on the debt question and everything. And I think uh, a government uh, with responsibility and a government in this country has always to reflect their own history. Inside the Reichstag building, all transparency with its magnificent glass cupola, visitors watched as their parliamentarians debated the 86 billion euro bailout deal. As expected, they voted ja, yeah, but there was a significant rebellion, including from Chancellor Merkel's Christian Union. We have to think about the risks we're taking on behalf of our citizens in Germany. Our principle is Europe, yes, but as a community of freedom, a community of values, a community of rights, and not a place where anyone can just do as they please. Germany's position as Europe's biggest economy has thrust upon it responsibilities that many find deeply unsettling. In the industrial east, German reunification meant, in many cases, factories closing down, jobs lost. Here, people feel that what prosperity they have has been hard-earned. But even here, amongst the older generation at least, the spectacle of Germany once again imposing its will on the rest of Europe can produce a visceral emotional reaction. No, I don't think we should take the leading role. We must all help, but Germany should never again take a leading role, because Germany is dictatorial. That is the German character. But there's a shift taking place, especially among the younger generation people whose grandparents were too young to have played an active role in the war. I don't think we should feel responsible. Our generation had nothing to do with what happened then. We should put it behind us. The past is the past. And so Germany should take the leading role in Europe? Yes, I think so. We should. Because... Because, uh, because Germany is the biggest paymaster. He who pays the most has the most economic power and should take the most responsibility. <laughs> but with power and responsibility has also come resentment. Many Germans have been horrified by some of the coverage of their role in the crisis in the Greek press and elsewhere. By just writing in The Guardian, for example, well, there are European uh, terrorists um, and so on. This is not only bullshit, this is dangerous. And when you saw those insults hurled at your country in foreign newspapers, how did you feel? I felt offended, of course. I was raised uh, with the feeling that wherever uh, I came, I first had to say, oh, sorry, I'm German, something like that. And um, I started being proud of being European. And this includes in a normal way, like in any other country, to be proud of 
Germany or the German history. It's, the German history is so long and full of cultural highlights for thousand years. The dark chapters of Germany's 20th century history still weigh heavily on the national psyche. But this country's relationship with the rest of Europe is changing, and as it does so, Germany's image of itself is evolving. The crisis in the Eurozone may prove transformative.